Hey guys, lovers, friends, family. My name is Gleb Gile, also known as Deja K, and welcome to my first ever TV show review. Now, before we get started, as always, I do have to say that I am not a professional critic. I just love watching movies and TV shows and giving my opinions on them. That's it. So today I will be doing a review on the six part docuseries, um, other people call it a reality show, I prefer to call it a docuseries, um, anyway it's a review on Show Max's life with Kelly Kumalo. The show does cover quite a lot which is why I prefer to call it a docuseries um, but very little is held back. Um, in the show so we basically get to follow her and we find out a whole lot of information um, about her life basically. The show not only covers Kelukumalo um, being a single parent but we get to see her relationship with her parents and her spiritual journey. So from what I could tell, those were the main focal points of the show, which is her parenting, her relationship with her family, as well as her spiritual journey. Her friendships and business ventures are also highlighted on the show, but they um, they concentrated more on her personal life, so to say. In terms of her being a single parent, we get to hear her side of the story, um, well, sort of, um, regarding Sindome West's death. We are shown a time where she tells her daughter Tingo about her father and why he isn't around. We are also shown a time where she then tells her son Christian about her father Mulemo as well. I do like the fact that both kids had individual talks, or rather she had individual talks with both her children um, about their fathers because they do have different fathers. In terms of the conversations, I do think that the conversation with Tingo, um, her daughter, it was appropriate. That's just a personal opinion. I think her approach in explaining to her where her father is it made sense um regarding her conversation with christian i do think that the conversation could have been more sensitive um that's just what i think by the way it's just a personal opinion i do think that the conversation needed to happen but I'm not so sure if I think it was um, sensitive enough to the issue or to to Christian but then again like I'm saying this is just my opinion also bearing in mind I do not have children of my own so I don't know how to approach a child to explain to them who their father is or where they are. The show also covers Kelly Kumalo's relationship with her parents. So we are shown a, um, a rather, I want to say awkward relationship. Um, yeah, like we are shown a rather awkward relationship between Kelly Kumalo and her father. Um, he doesn't really appear on the show, but she does. Um, she does speak to him on the phone i think i'm not entirely sure um on episode four i think that's where we actually get to see or rather experience kelly kumalo's relationship with her father so kelly kumalo's mother leaves after kelly asks her about her father and then she leaves but which brings me to why I'm saying it's a very awkward relationship or rather awkward conversation that we heard because Kelly doesn't seem to um, or rather didn't seem to have a confirmation that her father is her father um, 
so um that's you know just generally that's a new door that we didn't even know existed um her current relationship with her sister um, zandi is also highlighted on the show um so we basically get kilukumalo's side of the story and how she feels that's one of the um topics that were basically um i think the main focal uh, fo- focal points of the show because she gets to have a serious conversation with her mother about the current predicament with her sister and the husband on the show we also get to um or rather we are also shown kelly's um closest friendships so her friendships with tammy dish with wanda boloi with brenda mtambo um those are the three main friendships that we got to see before the show i do have to be honest i didn't even know that kelly was friends with wanda baloi or with brenda mtambo i knew about tammy dish i think the whole country knew that already but i before the show i had no clue whatsoever that she was friends with these two ladies and which is a very i know my bad on my side but experiencing her friendship with them was and i think another highlight of the show personally brenda mtambo gives the best advice i personally think oh tell me also gives the best advice but the main like advice that sank in for me when kelly was asking her friends for advice the one person whose advice sank in for me was definitely brenda mtambo's advice so we got to experience that with her which is pretty cool i like that um on the show um we're also taken on a journey rather on kilukumalo spiritual journey personally i just don't like talking about people's spiritual journeys because they are very personal to them so i don't like giving like my opinion on them because i'm not experiencing whatever they are experiencing spiritually so but the fact that she was able to open up that door and she explains to us where she is spiritually uh, i think that was pretty cool for her it was bold because um other people don't like talking about their spiritual journeys or where they are or what they believe in or any of that but she was able to bring us on that journey with her and so i think that was not only bold but it was pretty cool for her to do that but in terms of my opinion i don't really like to give like actual commentary or actual opinions on people's spiritual journeys because like i said spiritual journeys are very personal to whoever to whoever is experiencing that spiritual i don't know enlightenment so to say in terms of her business ventures besides her music we get to know more about her gin drink as well um so we follow her or rather and honestly if i'm gonna be honest before watching the show i didn't even know kelly kumalo had an alcoholic beverage out but now i do and i will definitely try it out but on the show we do get to see what she's doing on the business side so that does include both music and her the gin alcoholic beverage that is out so that was also nice for us to see it also enlightened or rather it opened my eyes to something else that i didn't know about kim kumalo um so coming to rating the show i would rate the show a 7 out of 10 um i i liked it i liked it very much i do i do have to say rather that um i watched the show twice so i watched it the first time all six episodes in one day and it was so straightforward like everything had a conclusion that i personally thought i missed something and then i saw the show again on a saturday and i realized that i actually didn't miss anything everything made sense it was straightforward um 
every topic that was touched on the show had a specific conclusion the reason however why um i'm giving it a 7 out of 10 is because i would have done some things differently uh by some things i do mean the conversation between her and christian but that's the only thing that i would have done differently so that concludes the video and like i said earlier on on the video all thoughts and opinions stated in this video are my own i am not a professional critic i just love watching movies and tv shows and giving my opinion on them that's it if you like the video please leave a thumbs up and also comment down below if you agree with my opinions and even if you don't agree with my opinions do leave a comment down below and we can have a conversation thank you very much for watching this video and i hope to see you on the next one